Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. There's not going to be an intro for this, we're just going to jump right into cute animal clips, and I hope that's okay with you. If so, away we go. Here she is, back to her shenanigans. Hey pudgy queen. Again, food night isn't until tomorrow. Maybe you're just extra hungry lately. I don't know. I don't know. Chubby chubby. Oh look at- <laughs> She calmed down a bit, I guess. Girl, what is you doing? Oh, I put some of this vine in her enclosure because she has killed every live plant I've given her. Um, except obviously the boot, bamboo. And look what she's doing now. Hi, queen. How you doing? I know, she's like, food? Are we talking about food? Girl, do you look like you need food? I'm not trying to body shame you, but like, you're not starving. She has like little pots back here for potted plants and she kills them because she burrows where the roots go so she cannot have hi so she cannot have them it is what it is you gonna come out you're more than welcome to i'll wait here while you figure out what it is you're doing first let me get these out of the water they don't belong there I'll even encourage it. Boop, boop. Look. Yeah. Come on out. <laughs> come on, chubby girl. What does that? Come on. You don't want to come out? You just want to sit here? I'll sit down with you then. Oh, sorry about that. I got a big booty. When I sit down, it's, you know, it's thunderous. Come on. Don't worry. I just wash my hands. Hi, girl. Look at you. Look at you. A chubby queen if there ever was one. Oh my god. Girl, you do not need more food. Look at you. Look at you. Maybe it's like mating season for chubby frogs. I wouldn't know. This is my first full year with her. Got her in April. So. Had her for almost a year. Oh. Okay. Thick queen. Let me spray your enclosure and fill up your water section, okay? We'll feed you tomorrow. Look who's out. Were you partaking in some food? Hey, girly. How you doing? Are you building a nest? Hmm? Are you building a nest? Hi, are you building a nest? Like he said, I don't want this in my tunnel. Get it out. I don't want it in my tunnel. And Pip stole someone's whimsy, and he's hiding and eating it. How's it going, Owen? No, you're sneezy, huh? Are you having a flare-up? Yeah. Are you still chewing your whimsy? Bless you. So then, Pip has Alfie's. So if Pip has Alfie's, that means he's literally eating Alfie's food right in front of him, and Alfie just doesn't care. He just wants to be in the tunnel. You just want to be in a tunnel, huh? Where are you? Oh, his head's over here now because he heard me open the door. That's why I was trying not to open it. That way I wouldn't distract you. What are you doing? Your brother is eating your whimsy. And you don't even care. Do you care now? Do you care at all? Hmm? Do you care at all that he ate your whimsy? What are you so jumpy for? I'm literally just sitting here. He's sitting there eating your food. Peace. Hey. Yeah, yummy. Are you sitting on your brother? How am I gonna get it to him? You're sitting on his head. Uh, reach around. Dude, you're sitting on his face. <laughs> Dude, you're sitting on his face. You're sitting on his face. I made, made your little butt scoot so I can give some to your brother. Yeah, there, you deserve some too. 
Bless you. You deserve some yummies. Yeah. Here, sorry about relocating you. I'll give you a little bit extra. How about that? Okay. I'm sorry about relocating you. Hi, Oliver. Are you enjoying? I said yes, leave me alone, please. Are you enjoying yours? Yeah. Oh my gosh, focus. It's you're so dark, it barely picks you up. And Pippi. Boink, boink. Are you enjoying yours? I said, don't bother me, human. I has a rice pup. Jackson, look at this blobfish. Do you see? Do you see this blobfish behind you? Look at it. Look at this blobfish. Look, you're looking at me. I'm telling you to look at the... This, no, no. Look at the blobfish. It's a blobfish. It's a blobfish. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. High five. High five. No, no, no. I, I said high five. Thank you. Good boy. Look at him go. He's a blobfish. Blobfish. Bless you. Bless you. Good you. You ready to go downstairs? You ready to go downstairs? Are you ready to go downstairs? Jackson, come. Oh, we need we need vacuum, Jackson. Look at this. Jackson, come. We need vacuum. So this is my lychee enclosure currently. She demolished her snake plant, and by demolished, I mean it was like. So, had to give her a pothos, which she has not demolished yet, so thumbs up for that one. Thank you, Rin. She's actually... Oh, you can't see her head anymore. It, usually it's right there. But yeah, she's sleeping. Oh, you can see her tail, though. There's her little curly tail. And she barely ate yesterday. Which I think is because she had a dubia roach the day before. But I bet you she gets to that tonight. Then, this is my... Chinese cave gecko enclosure currently. This plant I don't think is staying. It doesn't vibe with the rest of this like lemony lime green color, but she's currently probably in there. Cause she's not in her hot hide. So she's in there or she's like in one of her cork things. I got new lights for this one. Actually, this is a new light as well. So new light. These are all just lights for helping like the plants grow. And then Neville, everyone's favorite. Hi! How you doing? I know. Mm hmm Yes. Okay, that's Neville. And stream area, which has a little bit of dirt on it, but is clean. And then, as clean as it's gonna get with Neville anyway. And then her pothos, doing strong. New lights for her enclosure. That's her enclosure. No honey. Ah, da 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 da! You always start on me. Stay in here. Do not fall out of the enclosure. Sheesh. Then the axolotl tanks, which don't have a light on right now, so let's fix that. So that is Ron's tank up here. And <laughs> literally just did a water change a couple days ago and it's already evaporating out all the water. So now I need to go ahead and put more in there. And then down here is Harry's tank. And there's Harry, who's a little finger biter, which if you watched my feeding on my reptiles and amphibians video, you'll understand because he bit my finger. But yeah, these are their tanks. Nothing super new about them. I think they just have more plants and stuff since the last time you guys saw them on here. This is a new Crested Gecko enclosure actually, which Re just moved into today. And uh, she's actually really irritated about it and she's back there. Um, the reason I moved Re into this is because this is her old enclosure right here, which is fine. Um, but it's just like, it's not working for her. This type of substrate that's in here that lets the plants grow. She has a really bad habit of eating the substrate when she's burrowing to like lay eggs. So. I decided just to give her um, moss, which she really likes to lay eggs in. So she has moss and then she has um, just eco earth and coconut fiber. So it's not even just like eating it. It's just like she gets it crammed alongside her teeth. Like she doesn't swallow any of it. It's just like stuck in her mouth and I'd really rather not use a chunky substrate for her. But um, Rue is in here. Rue's fine. I actually ordered more plants for the bottom of her enclosure and her door needs to be cleaned. Um, but yeah, these are doing great and I ordered more of them and they're going to go down here. They should actually arrive today. This enclosure is ugly as sin. We're not even going to show it. It's so ugly. It's going to get redone. And then this one is just going to be a spare, I think. So 
this one is Ree's old enclosure. I think I'm going to adjust some things in it, um, but it'll just be a spare because I don't have any other gecko to go in here. So new lights will be arriving for these ones too because these lights are just lackluster. Like they're not they're not cutting it because the enclosure is so tall. So yeah, that's that one. And then we've got African fat tail, African fat tail, um, Cho Cho, my chubby frog, and Gamakichi, my tomato frog, and then my white tree frogs up here. Oh, and that's my red eyed crocodile skin enclosure, which also has more lights coming or new lights coming. Their UVB is still on the way. It should actually get here today. Right now, I, I bought the wrong bulb before, so they have a UV but not a UVB. Their UVB arrives today, and uh, so I'll swap them out, and then and then I'll use this uh, UV only bulb for like another enclosure that has like a glass top like maybe i'll use it for the crested geckos or something but yeah just some little changes happening there's roku's enclosure and then um african dwarf frog tank firebelly toad tank tiny fly firebelly toad tank it's like teeny tiny froggos um these are going to be upgraded in a few months hopefully sooner than that but that's pretty much everything and then i have some long-term plans for the gecko bookshelves which will change out um Oberyn and Obella's enclosures as well like they'll be going into those enclosures similar to the leopard gecko ones but with like you know more humidity and whatnot so then I'll have these two will be on this shelf or this shelf actually and then my uh red-eyed crocodile skink will come down here and then I'll have an extra shelf for whoever for whatever and yeah I just I have plans I have plans but I need monies you know I need that monies so have to wait on it Okay, so their UVB bulb is up here chilling. I got a 24 inch one, even though the enclosure is 36 inches, and I got a 5.0 one. So they don't require as much UVB as like, actually let's fix this while we're here. They don't require as much UVB as like a bearded dragon, for example. Um, and some people even keep whites without offering UVB. However, I have read that it helps them, so I'd like to do that. And I will probably be moving to offering more UVB to all my animals anyway. So I figured I might as well just start with them since I already have the fixture. Um, so yeah, they have the uh, UVB bulb. And like I said, it's a 5.0. It's a Repti Sun. Actually, the box is around here somewhere. Here we go. It's this one. It's that one. And, um, oops, I banged it. And um, yeah, so it's just offering UVB. And it can let them choose to have UVB if they want it. If they don't want it, they can be any spot in the enclosure that's over here, over here, or up front, because it is only on the back end of the enclosure. So it allows them to like sit up here, for example, and perch if they wanted to get somewhere on the branches. And if they don't want it, but they still wanna be over here, they can hide down here. They can just be away from it. So the idea from what I was reading, and you can correct me if I'm wrong about white tree frogs, is that you should allow them access to UVB, but allow them plenty of access away from it should they choose to be away from it. And you should not offer one that is like a 10.0 or a 14, that's too high. So a five is is the equivalent. So yeah, that's what I've done. And uh, there it is on. So here's the enclosure. And this plant I already had that was just like growing in the pet room. So it has all these like cute little, little bits right here. So as like this realizes the light is up here, these will turn upward and then same, uh, this just got here so these haven't like adjusted to where the light is like where you can see this is spreading out this way and working up this way because of the light these will eventually do that too and then hopefully they will grow all up the sides and it'll be really cool um but yeah so there's that and in the future i will provide an update re is still pissed she's still pissed back there it is what it is honey you just have to come to accept you got a new enclosure and it's one she'll like better because it has more coverage so when she gets settled in in like a month, then she'll finally be happy about it, I think.
you doing, Jay? How you doing? <laughs> Come on. Ow, damn. All right, I'm going to chase you, okay? Jackson! <laughs> oh, I just snorted. <laughs> Don't choke. Don't choke. Don't choke. This is what you get for running while you chew on grass. I'm gonna jump over there. <laughs> this, by the way, is a dirt pile from when we put the pool in. We still have to have the dirt carried away. Right now, it's a nice little fun hill for the dogs. And for me. What are you doing, Jay? Oh, what happened to the fence, fence post? Jackson! Come on, Jackson! I found a wild spotted cow. It's kind of deformed though. Hi. Okay, bye. Hi. Jackson, do you have a ball out here? I don't think you have a ball out here. So since I'm out here, right Jackson? I figured I'd show you guys um, something that I've never showed before. And it's gonna probably be like not really that exciting. But right here, in two rows, all the way over here, starting on the third row, are all the pets that have passed away. I'm talking rats that I've had, um, hamsters that my sister has had. We even had a mouse once that um, we took home from the pet store on purpose for free um, and let it die at our house. So all of them are buried here and there's no markings or anything because <laughs> it'd be really hard to mow over each individual marking, but um, they're all here. And I come say hi to them sometimes. What you doing? Look how beautiful he is. What you doing? You enjoying the backyard? Because I'm going to eat grass and I'm going to pee on the fence post. Two of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> right, Texan? Two of my favorite things to do. Hi, Gucci. Hi, baby. Yes, cover my feet. They're not cute. They're not cute. Thank you. Always looking out for your mama. Also, that's my hair in the frame because it's so long and I don't have a... Actually, I do have a hair tie. And there's the spotted cow. We actually think he's secretly a reptile because he basks in the sun. He actually got skin cancer from it a couple years ago, so... Way to go, Zach. But he cries all day and all year long until it's nice out. And then he stays outside all day long in the sun. Just what he prefers to do. It's not like he doesn't have like the ability to come inside. He just likes to be out here. See? There he is. The wild cow is moving. Oh, and I call him a cow because he's speckled like a cow. Ooh. She got freckles. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh my god. What, Jackson? Don't judge me. I have no makeup on. Are you eating a dandelion? She said, no, I'm just smelling it. Look at his tail furs. Come here, look at your tail, it's so floofy. Are you eating grass, Jackson? Hey, hey. Poochie, cover my feet, they're ugly. Cover them. Wow, so rude. I am turned around now. There he is, and go! Ah, does not feel as nice when you're not stepping on grass. There he goes, back to his dirt hill, which he loves, which we need to have carried away this year, and he's gonna be very sad when it goes. I'm <laughs> just eating the grass, oh my god. <laughs>
Hey, right, Jackson. You can't jump that far, though, can you? You're just a little boy. What's he doing? All he does, eat grass. Sniff grass, eat grass. Repeat. Come on. <laughs> you okay? You never fall. Are you okay? Usually you are so agile, just like that. What the heck? Did you forget God? Oh no. Did you forget God? It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Whenever he gets scared, they just come and give me attack kisses. Thank you. It smells like grass. Hmm. Poor thing. Did you fall? Come here, Jay. Come sit. Come sit. Did you fall? Did you fall, honey? So I did, and now I will sit in your lap for comfort. Hi, oh, don't fall again. Usually you're so very agile. I've never seen you fall jumping before. That's two firsts in a week. We got Harold, uh, not Harold, oh my gosh. We got Harry the Axolotl biting my finger, first time ever on camera, and Jackson falling, first time ever. Well, he did fall off a pool ladder once. I did not catch that on camera though. Does Jackson have a toy? <gasps> What's that? You got a little squirrel, a little chipmunk toy? Is it squeaking? Jackson. <laughs> Jackson Henry. Do, 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 do. What's that? You gonna bring it to me? You just gonna play with it yourself? I think he's just gonna play with it by himself. Yeah. Jackson. 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 And now we repeat. Oh my God! Was it like four? It's like four inches today. I know. It's April. I know. In two weeks it'll be May. What the hell? So I looked up and realized I'm being heavily gawked at by Aaron's geckos. And look, there's even tilt. Like, what the hell? What did I do? I don't. Urza. Genova, Fiori, Till, what the, I, I don't know what I did. So here is the last clip of the video, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. This is my Enigma Syndrome Gecko Shireen shedding. I have multiple Enigmas, in fact, I think I have seven. Um, and Shireen is actually, I think Shireen is the second to last one I ever got back in 2017. Shireen is a retired breeder, and breeding did not treat her kindly and uh, made her Enigma Syndrome far worse. Um, but here you can see she's shedding, and she always sheds during the day which I find interesting um, and so I just happened to catch it on camera and of course I help her after she's done all of her part usually I still have to get off of um, her toes and her her feet um, but usually she's able to get the rest of it um, and I like to let her get it because it's it's good for her you know it, it's stressful for you to peel shed off of them so always let your leopard gecko shed to the best that they can before you assist um but i just wanted to include this in here as like a little educational bit because i know this vlog was like mostly fun stuff um but please do not support people who breed enigmas it's not ethical whatsoever um and that's my opinion and and frank quite frankly the opinion of many people including reputable breeders in the community these days um but yeah just figured i'd show you what it's like for her to shed it's really stressful um, I was actually happy to see she didn't death roll um, at, in the recording anyway. She might have death rolled before I caught her, but usually it's a very, very stressful endeavor for her. But I do thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please take care of yourself. Take care of your family, your friends, your pets. Um, it's just a really stressful time right now, but I hope that you're making through okay, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!